Hello everybody, Dagmar Bryant, Mindset and Transformational Coach, coming to you today to talk about fears. Fears are pretty common for most people and some of the most common fears are things like being afraid of spiders or snakes, fear of public speaking, fear of being in open places, fear of being in closed places, fear of death and dying, just to name a few. Fears are the kind of things that are part of the human condition and if you think about it, the fears that I've just mentioned are very different than the fears that would have been around back in the caveman days. Back then, one of your biggest fears would probably have been being mauled by a wild boar or a wild bear in some kind of instance. And that's where the flight or fight response comes in. Do we stay and fight or do we run away? And that's where fears play an important part even in today's world. Now over this coming week I will talk about four key topics around fears. So we're going to be talking about the fear of success, the fear of failure, the fear around love and a fear to do with money. So all up there'll be four additional videos around fears. Be sure to look out for those and also look out for the solutions that I'm going to offer in each of the videos. Today I want to talk about the fear of spiders which is one of my fears and I will relate to you a couple of stories that are really relevant and I think I know where that fear for me actually came from. But the first story that I'd like to tell you about spiders this goes back to a few years ago when Glenn and I were still living in Australia and we went up to Cairns with a couple of his family members who were over from England. Now one of the day trips that we took we went out to one of the national parks out there and Glenn and I we remember it was just, this was actually right near the entrance and there was a big big spider's web with this huge spider actually alive. It almost looked like one of those ones that are fake but no seriously this critter was huge with huge legs and moreover he actually had orange and green colouring on him as well which just kind of spelt out danger, danger, be afraid. I'm sure he was uh, poisonous but I'd never seen a spider that big before but hey this is Queensland and that's where they make them pretty big. For me I know that I've always had a little bit of a fear of spiders because when I first came to Australia we lived in a little place called Kingsbury which was a suburb outside of Melbourne and the bedroom that I had Every now and then there were these big hairy kind of spiders that would come into the bedroom and I don't even know how they got in there. Now in Australia, as most of my Australian friends would know, you have fly screens on the windows. By the way, we don't have fly screens here in the UK and when I first visited the UK and stayed with Glenn, I always thought that was odd because he'd have the window open in the middle of the night, no fly screen, and I'd said to him, well, what about the bugs? Don't, don't bugs come in? And he said, no, not really. And I had to kind of get used to that idea that it's okay to have the window open without fly screens. But going back to when I was about six, seven years old, staying in this particular house in Kingsbury, yes, it had fly screens on the window. But I remember three distinct occasions waking up in the morning with a big hairy spider on top of the wall right over my bed. So I think you can understand where I got that fear of spiders from. Now I tolerate them a lot better today, especially when they're only this little. But one of the things that I have come to do as I have grown up 
you may know that I believe in energy and vibration. And if you don't, I'm telling you that right now because we are all energy and vibration. But one of the things that I have learned to do around each property that I have lived in is to put an energy grid around the property. Now that energy grid is a form of protection. It's like a shield. So what you do is you actually close your eyes and you imagine, you visualize the edge of the property and you put a shield around the property. And I say basically to the universe, this is like my space. If you, being specifically the spiders in this instance, if you want to play, you go play outside. There's heaps of grass and soil and trees for you to play in. But inside the house, that's my space. I won't do anything to you if you're happily playing outside. But once you come inside, inside my energy grid, all bets are off. And do you know what? Most of the time, that works. So I encourage you. If you have a fear of spiders, maybe put an energy grid around your house or if you live in a flat or an apartment around the boundaries of your property in some way and visualize that it's almost like, uh, you know, we have the farmers in the field, they have the electric fences around the field so that the cattle and the sheep stay inside that particular property. Imagine it like that, that you're putting like an electric fence, which is the same as an energy grid, around your property. And that should hopefully solve that problem for you. And even if the one or two does get by, then, well, you can deal with that in whatever way is best for you. So there you have it. My fear is around spiders, which I am trying to deal with and trying to cope with better. Being married has its pluses. I usually send Glenn on the errands to take care of that. Um, but I would say to you, if you have don't have the benefit of a partner who wants to do that for you, try the energy grid, and I still have the energy grid up anyway, to try and uh, stop those spiders and creepy crawlies from coming inside the boundaries of your place. Now remember, this week, we are going to be doing four additional videos on fear of success, fear of failure, fears around love, and fears around money. And we're going to do a little bit more of a deep dive into that. For today, do share your stories around spiders and perhaps any other fears that you have that you might like to tell us either how you've got over those fears or what you've done about them. How are you coping with those? Share your stories and let me know how you go. Remember to try the energy grid and you might as well try it today because guess what? You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Some of you might be skeptical, skeptical saying, well, what if it's not likely to work and I've tried stuff like that? Part of your mindset needs to be about believing that we are all energy and that this has the ability to have a positive effect around you. Anyway, fear of spiders, tell me your stories. Thanks for listening, guys, and look out for the other videos later this week.